Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. I wanted to do something a little bit different today. I wanted to explore some pieces that I bought in the past that I haven't got around to filming. And one of the brands I get asked about a lot is Clay de Poe. And I actually have a lot of foundations from Clay de Poe. So as I had a blank face today, I thought before I am about to do another video, which is of a new collection, I would prep my skin and do a foundation review of one of their foundations. This is the Radiant Cream Foundation from Clay de Poe. I wanted to put this on with you so that I could show you how it looks on my skin. Now, I've always been color matched to 050 Tan Ochre. I don't know if that's the right shade anymore. My skin tone has been changing a lot through the summer. Bizarrely, I actually have, I think it's the old formula of this. I think they may have redone it again. I'm not sure if they've repackaged it and I'll do a little bit of research to find out, but I think I have it already in its original packaging and original form. I wanted to show you this version because I think this may be the newer version. This is their Radiant Cream Foundation. There's SPF 25. I'm gonna squeeze some of the product out. Let me see if I can give it a good shake. And I'm just gonna put the product onto my hand and it comes out really, really nicely. I think it's a really, really good color match and I'm quite excited to try this on. And I'm gonna use Sonia G's brush. This is her jumbo base brush and I'm just gonna take the product and put it on my skin. It's quite thick, it's not that runny actually. So I'm intrigued to see what the finish is gonna be like. It feels really lovely on actually. And I'm just taking the product and putting it all over my face. It's a really good color match. Obviously this part will always be that tad bit darker on the forehead. So I can always use a bronzer to kind of get that a little bit more brown if I need to. But in terms of the center of my face, this is a really good color match. I don't even think you can see that I've got something on, which is ideal. Feels really nice. There's a little bit of a fragrance, but once you put it on the face, it kind of disappears. So what I'm gonna do is leave this on and give you my thoughts throughout the day, but I'll put on some makeup on top of this as well. So this is how it looks. I'll check in and I'll fill you in on how this is performed later. So I'm just gonna take the rest of it. That was just one squirt, if you know what I mean, on my hand, and it's given me really good coverage. I'd say it's like a medium coverage because it's covered this area here and everything looks really nice and my skin looks really glowy still. So it does have that radiant finish, which it promises. I've got combination skin, so I'm gonna see how my T-zone fares throughout the day with this on. I don't even think I need to go in with any more. I really like the color match. It's very, very good. What I do have is one of their Radiant Corrector for Eyes and it's in the shade Mocha. So this is the one that you squeeze out. There we go. So this is what it looks like. It's a really lovely, lovely shade. This is the hand swatch of the concealer in the shade Mocha, but you can see that it is slightly lighter than the foundation that I put on my face. It's been very smoothing under my eyes. So they have a brush for it. Put that underneath my eyes. Feels very creamy, actually, really nice on. I'm just gonna grab a brush, we're just gonna blend that in. So I'm taking Wayne Goss's brush number 10, and I'll put the name below. I haven't used this one yet, but I'm gonna use this as a kind of concealer brush, because it's quite small. Blending it out. You can see it's a tad bit lighter than the foundation, so that's what I like. And I'm just going under the eye and just sort of brightening where I need it to go. I really love the finish on this foundation, it's really nice. I'm taking my finger and just blending it out with any areas that I've missed, but can you see how that's kind of lightened the area under my eyes and just brightened it? And it's looking really lovely with the foundation. So I've just set everything up and I'm really happy with the finish. Pretty seamless to be fair. That looks really beautiful, really natural actually. 
I've got a little bit left here. So I can just put it in areas where I need a bit more coverage. Honestly though, this is a very, very nice foundation. I'm just gonna give you the benefits of this foundation. Wow, very, very natural and pretty and a great color match as well. This retails for 121 pounds. This is a lot of money for a foundation. I understand the hype behind it now because I can see the quality of the foundation. It's like you put it on and immediately you can see the colors right, but it's the actual kind of glow that you still get from it. Granting a luminous and flawless finish that looks as if it could be entirely natural, Clay de Peau Beauty's Radiant Cream Foundation promises up to 24 hours of second skin coverage that doesn't crease or look cakey. More than just makeup, this nourishing foundation will even comfort parched skin and provide 24 hour hydration. Inspired by the radiance of a diamond, the silky dewy finish is empowered by an infusion of skin loving ingredients. The foundation harnesses the brand's propriety skin empowering illuminator, a cocktail of five key ingredients, platinum gold silk essence, Japanese pearl extract, theanine, perilla extract, and angelica acutiloba extract to boost your skin's reparative abilities and supplement its defenses while promoting inner brilliance for skin that oozes health. Apply following skincare or the application of pre-makeup base. Use the fingertips, apply foundation to five points. The forehead, nose, chin and both cheeks spread evenly over the face. There's 21 milliliter of product so there's not a huge amount of product in here but what you do get is this stunning, stunning glow and finish. I am super impressed with this. I'm not sure how it compares to the other one that I've got. I have the other one to hand and I'm gonna place them side by side on my hand, but I'm wondering now the difference between this version and this version. I'm gonna take a little bit of this, tiny, tiny bit. This is the older one that I had. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the newer one and I'm just gonna sort of swatch them side by side for you too. Okay, the newer one to me looks like a bit darker in tone than the one that I originally had. So I'm just gonna swatch them side by side. Even though they're both the same color, can you see how they're different? This one is more glowy if you look closely. And this one is a bit more lighter, which is really surprising me. Both of these say Radiant Cream Foundation. They also have SPF 25 in both. And the colors are exactly the same. 050, 21 mil of product. Wow, you can see that that one is probably a better color match to me right now. This one I could probably get away in winter, but even though it's the same color, which has totally blown my mind. I thought that was worth showing you, even though they are exactly the same in terms of what they used to represent I think the packaging has just changed very very surprising so that's what it looks like side by side I'm going to take both shades and just go like this so you can see it in a bit more detail as you can probably see this is the more cooler shade and that's the more warmer one so I'm just going to do the same thing cooler warmer there's not a huge difference. You can see this one's a tad bit lighter. I'm just blending it into my skin, but once you blend it, it doesn't look too bad. And then this one is the more warmer one. It's so sort of light, you can't really see the difference once I've blended it in. So I'm just taking both of them and I'm literally mixing them now because I just wanna put it in areas where perhaps I didn't get as much coverage the first time. Just not wasting it because it's so much money, my God. Just wanna show you the finish with the two blended together. The actual finish is extraordinary. It looks so lovely on. And I haven't wasted a single drop because <laughs> I wanted to make sure you could see how it looks. Wow, it's really, really nice. This is how it looks right now. I'm now gonna do another video and show you something new that I've picked up, but I'm gonna come back, give you my thoughts about how this has fared throughout the day. The packaging is really good for travel. It's not glass, it's sort of plastic, and it's so light as well. I mean, when I went in earlier, you don't necessarily need to go in with that 
drop. If you want a kind of more natural look, go in with a more slightly lighter hand and you can just use a little bit because the product is obviously very expensive, but at the same time, you could still get a beautiful glow. I just wanted to see how much coverage I got with that kind of amount. And I didn't use a huge amount, but I still use more than maybe I would normally. And I'm really impressed with this. I am going to be going for this more regularly now that I know how good it is. So that is the finish. Like I said, I am very, very happy with what I've got on. My initial impressions are, I can see why it's got such great reviews. I am very excited to try the other foundations that I've got from Clay de Poe and share that with you. But I thought today it'd be nice to start with this radiant finish because I'm going to put on some lovely makeup on now in my next video that I just thought it would be good to show you this. This is their Clay de Poe Beauty Lipstick Shine and it's their Sheer Shine Luxe Colour. Four grams of product and it's in their shade Go Getter Grape. It comes in the lovely Clay de Poe packaging. This is the beautiful packaging and then you pull it, but as you turn it around, I'll just show you it all the way around. Stunning. And then you lift it open and then, so this is the hand swatch and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. So let's just put this on just to give me a little bit of color. It's beautiful. Feels very moisturizing on the lips. Wow, what a pretty shade. If your skin looks really good because you've done some skincare, you've plumped your skin up and you have this beautiful foundation, you don't need to do a lot to get a really lovely look. I just wanted to leave it simple like this and just show you how pretty it can look just with the lip and the foundation. So I just wanted to give you a quick check-in. I've had the foundation on now for the last four hours and it's still looking glowy, as you can see, radiant, which is what we like. I'm gonna keep it on for another few more hours and check in again, but so far so good. And yeah, it's beautiful. This is the Clay de Po Radiant Cream Foundation. So this is the six hour, six and a half hour mark. The foundation still looks really nice and my skin still is glowing and radiant. So this is a big thumbs up for me for this foundation. If you have any comments, let me know. If you picked this up before, I'd love to know. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.